Juice up for review today is Cali Custard by South Coast Vapes. I've got this in 3mg nicotine, 10ml bottle, 6040 VGPG. It'll set you back £4.50 for this 10ml bottle or 12.75 for a 30ml bottle. I'm going to keep the flavour profile slightly hush-hush until after the builds because there's going to be a bit of a unique twist on this. First mod and build up for today is the Fluid 18650 Mech Mod Ebony Wood with a Sub-Zero RDA on top. Inside there I've got a dual coil build, 6 wraps of 22 gauge Nichrome which come out at 0.22 ohms. And the other mod that we're going to be using today is the Sowers DNA30 mod with a Snapdragon version 1.5 on top. There's a single coil build in here, 8 wraps of 26 gauge Canthol which comes out at 1.4 ohms. Going to be vaping it around 17 watts. Phew. Okay, so fluid mod. And the Sowers mod. Vapor production is great from both of them, really smooth inhale, smooth exhale, no discomfort at all, no throat hit, 3 milligram nicotine, smooth, smooth vape. Okay, so here's where the differences come in. On this fluid mod with a 0.22 ohm build in here, you get a really sweet vape. The vanilla custard is accompanied by a caramel or toffee style experience as well. Altogether, it's a really sweet vape in this, and that custard blends in perfectly with the sweetness that's provided from the other flavors. On the higher resistance build in the snap, Dragon though it's a far different experience you get a savory style custard it almost comes with a cereal style flavor that mixes in with that vanilla it still has a sweet tone to it but predominantly it's replaced by a more balanced savory taste so this is where it gets subjective if you like the sound of that sweet vanilla custard mixing in with toffee and caramel you need to put this on a build that comes in at about 0.5 ohms or less. That's where I find the sweet spot for bringing in the caramel and the toffee. If you prefer the sound of the savoury style custard with that cereal mix and still getting some of the sweet notes in from the vanilla, you need to put it onto a build that's 1.2 ohms or higher. That's where I find the sweet spot for that one. And of course, it's going to come back to you and what you want from your vape. But the fact that you have the ability to change without purchasing a new bottle of juice is a big bonus as always guys if you could like follow and subscribe that would be greatly appreciated i will see you again very soon